Hi everybody, in this video I have another great uh, Google Colab for you, this one tested uh, by me. It works, by the way, it's optimized well for anime, cartoon, or other kind of uh, uh, faces with style, but not just. It works for landscape, for you can see uh, architecture, so many type of different images. Uh, the cool thing is that I can show you that it has kind of a attributes that allows you to uh, choose the upscaling and also if you want enhancement, face enhancement or not, all right? Uh, yeah, and it provides very good results. Now you can see here that it says, developers say, may not perform well on human faces, tags, etc., which will be optimized later. I check it out, it works great. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So again, it does also upscaling as well. So yeah, if you want to operate, you just go to preparations, you click play here, then go to upload images, uh, you click play, wait for it for the choose files control to appear, you upload the file, then run inference. But before you run inference, you can see here, you can choose the outscale and face in hand. So you can remove it if you don't want it, if you want it, just put it back. Uh, outscale, you can choose uh, by default the 3.5, but you can make it higher if you like or lower. All right, after you've done that, you click the play for this cell, and then you can visualize it. You click uh, play here to visualize the results. Um, this is just the default one, by the way, that they're showing. So as you can see here, you know, when you can see that the result appear kind of a bit cartoony. That's why they mentioned like it's not super optimized, but I'd find it on artistic one, especially th things that come from Mid Journey. They're not like super, super realistic, if you know what I mean. They have this kind of artistic style. That's why it actually works well for it. I'm just saying, and you can get really nice results. All right, and uh, this is for the anime and overall other ones that are shown here. And then after that, you finish, you're gonna go and click download results. You're gonna download a zip file with the results and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. So let's go and show you some uh, examples. All right, first of all, this is a very small 133 by 200 pixels. It's very small. This is why the algorithm will have problem with the eyes. Because there's not a lot of information there. Still, I'm going to show you uh, the enhanced one. Again, this is upscale version just to fit the height of the video, but let's get a bit closer. All right, as you can see, very little details. Let's see the upscale version. All right, this is a 3.5 uh, upscale. Uh, this is just a close up, right? And let's see the before and after, right? So this is the before, after, before, and after. All right, next one is 400 pixels height. I give it more pixels, more data. And with much more data, it will able to fix, to enhance the face, as you can see here. And this is 3.5 enlargement. Looks very good. All right, next one is uh, 333 by 500 pixels. All right, this is enlarged a bit, so you can actually see the details closer. Now let's see the 3.5 enlargement. Again, a close up, the upscale one, again, 3.5 compared to the default one. That's the original one, and then the 3.5 enhanced. All right, let's increase the resolution by 10, 10 upscale, all right? And you can see that it looks great. And let's see the before and after. Remember, it was 10 times smaller compared to the to this one. And again, with face enhancement, which we, of course, can disable if you like. Now, you can change to very high value, but again, it's just not optimized for higher values. Yeah, so that's about it. I hope you find this one useful. Again, I'm just going to search more and more. Uh, so make sure to subscribe. If you find some really great ones I'm going to share with you and some other cool stuff. So... Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.